Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and today I have finally discovered the answer of why everybody is quitting YouTube. All these big names, regular people, whoever it is, running into frustration, quitting the platform, and it's not what you think. Uh, well, it is what you think, and what all those people in the other videos said it was, except it's not uh, quite. It's something related to that. And I'm talking about the algorithm. It's the algorithm that's driving people to quit. And uh, if you'll just hang tight, I'm going to grab some coffee, and I promise I'll explain it, and it'll make sense. So just hang in there. I'll be right back. Thanks for sticking with us. That is the good stuff. And by the good stuff, I don't mean the expensive stuff. Just... Uh, tastes good the coffee if you didn't guess because i said it was coffee before i left and because of the machine that you probably saw in that never mind good coffee good tasting coffee but uh that's not why we're here we're here to talk about this algorithm and why everybody's quitting and i'm telling you it'll make all kinds of sense here in just a minute now before i want to get some statistics here so youtube youtube has like uh, i think the the latest statistics are showing two and a half billion roughly Viewers every single month, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Um, with that number, I don't care if you are making videos about, uh, un if you're like a unicycling horseshoe player or whatever it happens to be, just some guy sitting at his house talking about whatever. There is an audience out there for you. There is no reason why you couldn't make videos about any sort of a niche or whatever. You know, we'll use some of those... Uh, click words that they have for YouTube creators, there is an audience out there for you. So you're saying, well, if there's an audience out there for me, how come my stuff's not growing? Well, it's because of the algorithm. Now, now hold on. You know, I know people are going to get all up in arms. Oh, the algorithm's not a problem. If you just make good stuff, it's because of a misunderstanding of what the algorithm is for. Now, I just mentioned that there are like two and a half billion viewers out there on YouTube. That doesn't matter. The viewers, they don't matter. You as a creator, you don't matter. There's another group that this algorithm is designed for, and it's not designed to, for any of those other two people we've talked about. It's not for me. It's not for you. It's for something called advertisers. Now, remember, when YouTube was first created, it was just a place for people that were doing creative stuff to upload their little videos, you know, for fun. Fun being the key word. Well, YouTube is no longer that. It is now a big business, and they have to make big money, and that big money comes from advertisers. And the advertisers are what the algorithm was designed for. They are what drive what gets seen. So, to put it into perspective, if an advertiser is looking at this situation and they see the unicycling horseshoe player or the guy just sitting at his house, is that me? They look at that and they say, that's not worth any money. So the algorithm has to promote the stuff that is worth money because that's where they want their advertisements to take place. That's where the eyes are. So they, uh, I mean, at least as far as they're concerned. So that's, uh, that's what gets picked up by the algorithm. It's Mr. Beast and whatever else. And also keep in mind, the people that are uh, the advertisers are the same advertising people that uh, thought it was a, a good match to have Dylan Mulvaney and, you know, Bud Light. These are the kind of people that are driving the decision. So when you hear, you know, like, oh, YouTube is doing all this weird woke stuff, guess what? It's because the advertising, the people that are giving them the money. Now, I know, I know there are like mom and pop shops and stuff that advertise on YouTube as well, but they aren't the big money. The big money accounts are coming from the, the people that make those kinds of decisions, like matching up, uh, you know, they think that they have to chase the Gen Z people, and they haven't figured out that Gen Z doesn't like that stuff as much as they think that they do. So they keep pushing that, and that's where the money comes from. So then YouTube, of course, because they don't care about the viewers, and they don't care about the creators, they have to try and, you know, push that kind of stuff, because that's what gets them the money. It, you know, maybe it's starting to make sense now to you. Um, it, it is not a user or a viewer centered platform. It's not a creator centered platform. It is a, a an advertising centered platform. It's completely driven by advertisements. And that's all you really need to know. And because of that, you may find it very difficult to grow because your stuff is probably not going to get picked up by that algorithm. And, um, uh, 
Yeah. Oh, it's so frustrating and at the same time relieving because it means that, you know, I'm probably not going to invest a whole lot of effort into trying to to fit the, uh, the, what the, the whims of the algorithm here, because I know that I'm not going to fit into whatever it is that they're trying to push. And maybe you're hearing this and realizing that too. Like I'm not going to fit into these categories that they're creating. Um, I guess the algorithm also does something else. And this is what's really driving people to quit. So, um, for the advertisers, remember this is advertiser driven. They want things to be consistent so if you say, let's say you've got a popular channel or whatever, they need you to be on a schedule. It needs to be regular. It needs to be dependable. I need to know that I'm going to be, you know, getting these views. So the algorithm pushes creators, I mean, not only to kind of shape the kind of content that they create because they, they want to get picked up by that algorithm, if they want to get famous and rich and all this stuff that supposedly comes with being a YouTuber. And also it needs to be on a schedule. So if you stop posting on your regular schedule, whatever the algorithm has decided your schedule is supposed to be, then you're going to see viewership drop, not just on new videos, but all videos. You're going to see all the traffic go away. There's a couple of big channels that look into this stuff and they have discovered that. I, I don't know if they realized why that was taking place, but now it should all start to make sense. It's because of the advertisers. You know, they're used to something like television, where I know that every single week on this day, at this time, this show is going to come on, and that's what I want to put my ads on, is that show. And I don't have to worry that one day the uh, the people that make the show are just going to get tired or sick or something and not make the show. It's going to get made. It's going to be on there, because that's that's how it works. That's how TV is. Now, as a creator, maybe that's kind of frustrating. It's like, well, I don't want to have to. I mean, the whole reason I did this was to get away from schedules and be my own boss and all of that stuff. And, you know, I want to make videos about this and I don't want to make videos like what you want me to make. And, you know, maybe somebody wants to talk about uh, cameras. I have a camera right here. You know, maybe they want to talk about cameras. But guess what? You're not going to get picked up by that algorithm, not unless your cameras can be advertised and sold and make money. So you uh, you might not be able to make the kind of videos you want. You're going to get pushed into showing stuff. You know, maybe you're going to, yeah, that sort of thing. So it, it gets frustrating. You're like, I don't want to do that. And eventually you just quit. You're like, I don't, you know what, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Not only that, you know, let's consider this for a moment. If you were a TV star, Let's say you're one of the people on the news who don't get that many views, not anymore, and uh, you compare your money that you can make from YouTube, the AdSense or ad revenue or whatever, compared to what somebody's making if they're like an anchor on CNN or something, and you're like, hmm, they're making a lot more money. Um, I'm doing all this work. I'm doing all the filming, all the editing, all the stuff. And I'm using all of my own equipment. I have to buy the cameras. I have to buy the computer, the microphone, everything. And I'm not, uh, it's just not worth it. The effort, the stuff, this is just not worth it. So they quit. They say, you know what? I've had enough. I'm done. And that's where it comes from. It's because of the algorithm. It's because it's driven by advertising and not by users. Because trust me, two and a half billion people, like I said, I don't care what you make. There is an audience out there somewhere for you. And if the algorithm worked that way, where it just found people for your videos, it would find them. But that's not what the algorithm does. That's not what it's for. So with that, I, I quit. No, <laughs> kind of. I, I'm going to go the same route as these big people. I don't really get money. I mean, I, I've gotten paid a couple of times by YouTube, but... Uh, I don't see the point of putting all the effort in when I know for certain that this is never going to be picked up by that algorithm. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Now, if I were to put all of my effort into my wife's channel, which I have been kind of uh, not doing as of late, that one would work. Because, uh, you know, going back to what the advertisers want, I think it's because she is she fits into some kind of, you know, like minority category. So... It, it pick, I don't know. I it, Maybe it's just because she's better. Than me. I, it's got to be the face. She's much more pleasing to the eye than me or something like that. Anyway, I just thought I would share that with you. If you're a creator, you can let me know what you think. Am I right? 
If you're a viewer, maybe you've wondered why you keep getting all this crap stuff that you don't really care about and you're wondering where all the good stuff went. Well, now you know. It's because that's what the advertisers want you to see. They want you to see the, I don't know, drag queen, uh, unicyclist, trans person, because that's what they think people are interested in. And what you're really interested in is some niche thing that uh, now it's difficult to find because the algorithm has driven the people who create that content out of the market. I hope that Rumble and some of the other platforms don't go that route. But, uh, you know, if they're driven by advertising too, then I guess that's the way it's going to be. I'll leave it at that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, again, let me know if that made sense. We'll see you guys. ไฟพระวงศ์หลวงฟ้าเอาเจ้าบางประคงทางไว้งงหลวงเก้อเออหาโอเวนคำจำรัก